Okay, so if you ran the program right now, uh, the ball still wouldn't move because all we did is uh, create the two arrows and uh, set two variables to true or false when they are being pressed down on. But that's not going to change the location of any of the uh, any of the other sprites. So to fix that problem is we're going to create an update handler uh associated with the uh with uh, the engine so to do that we're going to insert the uh following code this dot m engine dot register update handler and the parameter is new I update handler and that is not okay like that and we're gonna have to import that and that's requires implement it requires us to implement uh, some methods and I'm gonna close this okay I'm gonna knead it up a little bit and uh, as far as the reset we're not gonna do anything with it but uh, here's this method on update and this is basically since we declared a uh, fixed step engine up here and we're gonna call it 30 times per second this is gonna happen 30 times whatever is whatever you put in here in this on update it's gonna run 30 times per second so just you might wanna consider what you put in there don't because it will run but basically we're just gonna put a if if statement in it and it's gonna be if and it's gonna be my left button and if my left button is true then we're gonna say my player black animated sprite it's pretty long dot set position you can give it a shorter name I just wanted to make sure uh, that it's it's uh, not confusing well I hope it's not confusing and it wants the uh, the location so the new location so it wants the two uh the x and y position so we're gonna do my we're gonna get it first we're gonna get the its current position so we're gonna say dot get x And if it's a left, it's going to minus 5 it. It's going to go 5 left. And the Y is just going to go get Y. We're not going to change the Y. So it's just going to move left. Because we got its X and minus 5. It's just going to move. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with the red one. We're just going to... Oops, in the wrong key. Play your red animated sprite. 
Okay, so that's gonna move left. And we're gonna add another if statement inside this. Oops, there you go. We're gonna add another if statement, and that's gonna be the same thing, it's just the opposite. It's gonna be if my right button. That is gonna be plus five. Other than that, it's the exact same, the exact same thing. So this is gonna run 30 times per second, and it's gonna check if the left button is pressed, is being held down, and it's gonna move it to the left. And if it's if if it's uh, the right button, then it's gonna move to the right. And um, that's pretty much it. So let's check the program and see what it does okay I have uploaded the uh, program and uh, it you can click on the ball and it moves left right and you can click on it and it moves until you hold until you hold the uh, button and uh, that's pretty much it that's the end of the video and thanks for watching bye